How's everybody doing? Welcome back to Let's Turn 2. Today, we are going to turn two Panini Baseball releases against one another as we have Optic here going up against Prism. Now, I find it interesting that even though the packaging is the exact same, the cost was the exact same, over here, they decided to call it a value pack with the Optic, whereas with Prism, they just call it a hanger pack. So I'm not sure at what point in the year they decided to change the wording, but... Other than that, I mean, there's no difference other than a couple of cards. So, for me, Optic is the favorite going into this because it is probably my favorite Panini Baseball release. But I know Prism is a favorite of a lot of people, especially with football collectors. So, let's go ahead and start with what I consider the underdog, which is the Prism. So, we're going to have 18 cards in here. And since this is a 2022 release, we are going after... The Julio Rodriguez, Bobby Witt, Wander Franco, all those rookies from 2022 are going to be in here. And we start with the Twins closer, Yohan Duran, rookie card, Connor Siebold rookie, Marcus Simeon, Nick Allen. So we're at least getting some rookies, but none of the ones that I named in the beginning. But I will definitely take a Camille Duvall rookie card for my Giants, the, the closer. In fact, we're going to put that one on deck for... The video's best catch and maybe i'll do two separate stacks one for the prism and one for the optic and see which stacks better maybe that's how we'll decide who wins this one we got corbin burns jansen junk rookie drew ellis all these rookies were we're bound to hit one of the big ones right steven writings and now we're into our parallels josh donaldson chris bryant patrick mazika so it is a rookie and it is a parallel, so we'll put it to the side. Javier Baez, Lars Newtbar, living here in St. Louis. A lot of people, big fans of Lars Newtbar, so we will put that one to the side. That's pretty cool. Illumination, Salvador Perez, and Austin Riley. So I like that card, Salvador Perez. It's just a cool looking card. It's not numbered or anything, just a insert, but we're going to put that to the side, so... I don't know. What do we think, folks? I think that was a pretty underwhelming Prism hanger pack. I mean, you know, we got a couple of cards we put off to the side, but I don't think the bar was set too high for, for Optic. Let's, But let's still hope they just blow it out of the water. Let's get an autograph or a nice, what are the exclusive, lime green? Let's get a lime green parallel of a big rookie. Not sure why this pack is giving me some issues probably because there's a big card in here all right so we start with a paul goldschmidt clayton kershaw brandon crawford another giant there i like that jose ramirez chris bryant diamond king jake mccarthy rated rookie card seems thick for some reason because there's a second card another large new bar and this card is these are stuck together all right so there's our second Lars Newt bar. We will put that off to the side. And is it still stuck together? Man, I don't know what's going on with that Jake McCarthy card, but it felt a lot thicker than a normal card. So Connor Siebold there. I think that's the second. I think we had a Siebold in the prison pack. Why can't we have that with Julio? Jacob deGrom lights out. Here's our Lime Greens now. Mookie Betts. Giancarlo Stanton. Jake Myers, Raphael Devers, so, you know, it's a rookie, it's a parallel, we have the Devers green there, Marino, rated prospect, and we end with a, the rookies insert of Reed Detmers, so, I don't know, folks, what do we think? This might be a draw. These were a couple, whatever you call them, value pack or hanger pack, pretty underwhelming, I will give the slight edge only because we have just simple math. We have three cards here, and we have four cards over here. I'll give Prism the win, and uh, what would be our best catch? I'll go ahead and give it to the Lars Newt bar. It was just the red, white, and blue parallel rookie card. So, all right, let me know who you would have voted to win between these two packs and who you thought the best catch was. I will see you all on the next one, and take care.